Snickers and I arrived at the Twin Peaks campground at Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument. You can see one right behind me there, and they're all around. They look a lot different than saguaros or octillos. I'll show you. Hi there, you have found the Crafty Traveler channel. My name is Lonnie, and I'm a 71-year-old female who loves to camp and travel. I travel with my little schnauzer, Snickers, who can be a bit noisy at times. We love to go to the desert in the winter, the mountains in the summer, the seashore whenever we can. Sometimes I travel alone, and other times I love to travel with a group. I belong to a wonderful group of ladies that love to camp and have a good time. We do activities like painting, sometimes I do sewing tutorials, I love to visit quilt shops, go to quilt retreats, and quilt shows. Come along and follow us, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel, and see where we go next. Thanks for watching. see I put my two front tires up on some blocks to level it. It's a little bit slopey going down. Snickers and I made it here to Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument. It was a little after three when we arrived. Probably took us about almost four hours. We spent an hour at Eloy dumping the tanks and having lunch and taking a little rest. So that's why it took longer. I did a different route than I thought. I went on Highway 8. And it is pretty desolate. Um, but I saw numerous Border Patrol cars passing me and going past me. In fact, I went through one checkpoint and they just waved me on. They're not worried about me. <laughs> through the little, I don't know if you'd call it a town, it's a bunch of buildings and a casino of Y, W-H-Y. <laughs> we stopped at the casino parking lot just for a little walk and a little break, and uh, there is a campground uh, by that casino. And then we had to come through and turn left on uh, the road that brought us to the park, which was about 18 more miles. I looked up the temperature just now at 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and it says it's 72 degrees, but I'm sitting right in the sun, so I think it feels warmer. Today is February the 5th, 2023, if I hadn't said it earlier. And, and I'm looking right at, to the west, so I probably will see a beautiful sunset this evening I'm waiting for that and uh, there is cell service here I was able to call Ernie and tell him I arrived I first texted my daughter thinking that if there wasn't cell service there might be text service and she answered me back so then I called Ernie 
and told him that I arrived safe. And I looked up, and I even have a little bit of 4G, enough to check my email and Facebook. Of course, I won't be watching any YouTube or anything like that, but that's okay. One of the other restrictions they have are their generator hours. They allow generators from 8 in the morning to 11 in the morning, and then from 3 in the afternoon to 6 in the afternoon. So just about breakfast and dinner time. So I'll get my dinner done before 6 because I have something I want to put in the microwave. And I'll put my generator on. Um, if I was going to watch a movie, I have to do it way before 6. So I don't think I'll be doing that tonight. Good morning, everyone. Snickers is waiting for breakfast. You hear my generator on so I can use the microwave. Aren't you want your breakfast, Snickers? Yeah? Want your goodie nummies? Okay, I'm going to get it. Here it comes. So I cook up Snickers a turkey sausage, one turkey sausage. It takes about, I don't know, 20, 30 seconds in the microwave. It's kind of hot, so I'm waiting for it to cool. It's 99% fat free, so it's not going to hurt him. No preservatives. And then I give him a quarter scoop of kibble which is usually beneficial uh, for overweight dogs but I couldn't find any this time so I got him the beneficial for small dogs and the fat content is about the same as 13 percent we try not to get him him too fat much fat or sugar at all because schnauzers uh, have a tendency to get uh, pancreatitis and even diabetes so here's Snickers breakfast yummy yummy and then he picks out the little pieces of uh, and then you pick out the sausages huh it's a little chilly this morning I left a sweater on he slept with a sweater on after Snickers finishes his bowl of breakfast. I give him a piece of a Newman stick. There you go. And then he also gets a piece of a smart stick. They're all Newman products and, and very good quality. Oop, don't choke. There. There's your nummy. Okay, let me have my breakfast. Here's my breakfast this morning. I have a uh, breakfast burrito. That's what I have this morning. Just pop it in the microwave for a few seconds to a minute. And I've got guacamole on it. And I have some blueberries. And I'm going to put a little Tabasco on there. I like a little spice on my breakfast. And we're going to be good for the day. Today is February the 6th. 2023. Good morning from Twin Peaks Campground, Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument. The sun is out. It's beautiful today. It's supposed to be in the high 70s today. You can hear generators going because it's generator time. They have limited generator time here in this park from 8 to 11 and from 3 to 6. So people are cooking breakfast right now. Snickers and I are on a little walk and in today's agenda we're going to cruise around the park and see the visitor center so stay tuned for that there is an organ pipe cactus it looks like pipes from an organ that's a Palo Verde tree that's an ocotillo bush cactus and there's a lot of other cactus around here the campsites are very nice they are uh, all dry camping there's no hookups or water or anything now down at the other end of the campground there is a dump station and i was told they have 
potable water. I'll be probably doing that on my way out. I'm here for two nights and I hope to see a lot of the park. Here's a storyboard. It talks about all the camping. It has the map of Twin Peaks Campground. There's other two other camping areas. Primitive campground and backpacking. Prevent rat damage. Ground fires are prohibited. Pet rules. There's only two trails in the park that allow dogs and everything and they all need to be on the leash. Don't feed the wild animals. Border safety. Oregon Pipe Cactus is safe for visitors to explore. Our southern boundary is the international border between the United States and Mexico. People do cross into the monument unlawfully. It's rare to ever have an encounter with individuals who are doing so. All right, Snickers and I are ready to take a little tour of the campground, Twin Peaks Campground, and go into the visitor center. So follow along. has to stay in the car. I took him into the visitor center and they said service dogs only. I service him but he doesn't really service me. I might have to get that changed. So Snickers you have to stay. I'm sorry. Sanita Basin Trails. So these are all the trails that are uh, located around the park. There's plenty of water. You can never have enough water in the desert. But dogs are not allowed on these trails. This uh, storyboard is about a park ranger in the early 2000s. Park rangers at the Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument were increasingly confronted by illegal border crossing activity. It was in the climate that Ranger Chris Eagle served a steward of the National Public Lands was killed. And this is part of his memorial. On August 9th, 2002, while protecting the visitors from harm, the United States Park Ranger Chris Eagle was slain in the line of duty. His service and sacrifice to the National Park Service and people of this country will never be forgotten. The beginnings of the sunset at Oregon Pied Cactus National Monument. A little more of the sunset about 5 o'clock in the afternoon. So if you like this video, of course, give me a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe. Stay crafty, smart, creative, and safe. And please watch my videos and make a comment. Have you ever been to Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument? Answer that one for me. Okay, bye now.